have the hanging fellas. I'm Otosh and this is another episode of Yakuza Free. And in today's episode, Riki, I should go back to Okinawa. I'll see him off to the taxi. What's up, florist? What are you gonna do with the kid, Kiryu? Don't call him that. He's a grown up man. I'm sending him home. It's too dangerous for him to stay here. Agreed, you might wanna blah blah blah, whatever. We fucking get it. Gotta send him back home because it's too dangerous. He wasn't even supposed to come with us here, but he did anyway. So last episode was really fucking long, unintentionally, because last episode was actually supposed to be two different episodes. But the game wouldn't let me fucking pause and save the game, so I just kind of had to fucking go with the flow, and I had to fucking beat a boss fight against Lao Kao Long, who got shot in the fucking face and died by presumably Kazama. We're still not sure who that is exactly. I mean, I know, but I won't fucking tell you. And... Uh, what the fuck else we did? And that was pretty much it. Riki got kidnapped by them and he almost murdered. And now, because he's such a bitch, we gotta fucking get the fuck rid of him because he's beginning to piss me off. Alright, Riki, it's time for you to get the fuck out of here and never fucking come back. Yeah. Come on, I'll take you over to the taxi. If we leave now, we should be able to get you in the next flight down. What? It's okay, Aniki, I can go on my own. Barely any time has passed since the snake flower triad tried to murder you, Riki. You shouldn't be out by yourself, not yet. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. So last episode I also tried to do the Colosseum fights, but... Oh, nice reflections, but... Shut the fuck up, but... But the problem with these fucking Colosseum fights I have is that you have to keep fucking, like, doing fights over and over so that you progress and then you can uh, I participate in more advanced fights. I, like I was saying last episode, this should be like towers in Mortal Kombat where you just go to one competition, you defeat boss fights and there's like different things going on, like for example sometimes the stage is set on fire, sometimes there's weapons available, sometimes you it's like different characters you face off against. Shut up, why are you so fucking annoying, good lord. And yeah, I should have really fucking last episode, I should have just simply go here, save it. Who the fuck cares that it was 20 minutes and not 30, 30 minutes. You know what I was thinking? If I have a timer of how long the video is now, and I ever get monetized, I should be really watching out not to swear in the first minute of the video because I have a habit of like... Introducing myself and then saying like let's fucking go or something like that And then what ends up happening is well, I don't get monetized so but if I was and I'd probably get demonetized Actually, I have gained some subs recently. You know what I was thinking was funny uh, what, what the, who the fuck is this? Can I do missions while Riki is with me? Not really. There's a taxi right next to me So I guess I can get the fuck rid of him Hidden Mac. The perfect shot's particular, practically staring me in the face these days, and I like how it looks. Pretty sure I'm gonna beat you to the punch, haha. <laughs> anyway, I heard this little tidbit and I... and just had to share. Apparently there's a ninja in Kamurocho hiding out... handing out tissue packs and... Oh, I know. It's a girl. She's handing out tissues. I'm not sure. Have I done the... Have I pulled off the picture for the guy who was, like, strip dancing on a light post? Guess this is goodbye for now. Get out of here. Ricky, yeah, this taxi will take you to the airport. Make sure you get on your flight, okay? Can you do that, Ricky? Yeah? Will you not get lost in the airport, Ricky? Yeah? I'm making fun of him, but if I went to a fucking airport, I'd probably get fucking lost and fucking miss my flight or some shit. Airports are confusing. I got a drink here. I didn't rate it the last drink. I would give it a four and a half. I didn't like it very much. This one, on the other hand, is called Cactus Drift. It's a Tiger Cactus Drift. Tiger energy drinks never really were outstanding, but they were always pretty good. Will this one change it? Not really. It kind of tastes the same as the watermelon one. It's like very slight difference between this one and the watermelon one. It's just like almost not noticeable, so it's kind of alright. Aniki. Aniki, I. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just make sure Nakara and the kids are safe. 
After all, we still don't know who we're up against. It sounds like the whole thing is out of the Tojo clan's hands at the very last, least. And with Nakahara still in the hospital, we're the only ones those kids can rely on. Same goes for the Ryudo family. They're all counting on you, Riki, yeah. You know what, with Yakuza 6, you're going back to Okinawa. I would like, I was hoping to like, see the Ryudo family back. All the kids come back in 6. I haven't played 6 yet. I, I intended to play it after I beat Judgment. I mean, I meant to play some other games in between, but that's the next Yakuza game I meant to play. And then I guess at some point I'll buy Lost Judgment and play that. Yeah, I'll be home soon. So I guess it's... guess it's reasonable to assume that we're getting a new Yakuza game next year somewhere, even though it wasn't announced yet or anything like that. Is this Kazuma Kiryu? It is. Who the fuck is this? What the hell, Minister of Defense, Tamiya? Funny thing, because like in Judgment, the Minister of Health is a pretty major character. Who else we didn't fucking met? Minister of Finance? Minister of Culture? Minister of uh, Farming? I don't know what the fuck other minister Japan could have. Anime Minister? It's the job of the hot looking motherfucker. <clears throat> I guess. I not remember the fucking what happened at the beginning of this game. It's been like three months since I started this. It's been three fucking months of recording this game. I don't remember what the fuck happened in it. At the beginning, I don't remember who that was. それで俺は急いでBMで基地拡大法案を通さなければならなくなった。どういうことだ。あんたが法案を通そうとしたから、移動と開発が再開したんじゃないのか。想定外の敵が仕掛けてきやがったんだよ。それで俺も動かざるを
and I still lost my voice, I guess. The Minister of Defense. What? Why would he want to talk to you and not me? What an asshole, I wish I knew. Either way, it looks like someone from the Tojo clan is still pulling the strings in all this. Tamiya also mentioned some kind of third party being involved. He asked me to come to the Diet Building to talk to him in person. I'm about to head over. To the Diet Building? How are you gonna get there? He's sending a driver over, apparently. We're meeting in front of the Millennium Tower. Wait, Kiryu. Take me with you. I always wanted to meet the Minister. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. So, wanna meet up outside the Millennium Tower? And risk making Tamiya driver suspicious? Probably not a good idea. Let's get over there together, okay? Where are you now? That's Serena, as always. I'll see you out front. So, I, I, I guess Date wants to come because he's, not, he's a journalist now, because he lost his job. Also, check it out. Chapter 9, the plot. This is the point where you start to figure out the plot. There's Mac. Oh. What's crack a lack and kill you, Sam? I, uh, not much, Mac. You ever get that perfect shot you were looking for? Can't say I did. I've been scouring every last corner of this town, but all I come up with was a big fat fistful of shit. Sorry to hear that. I guess you can't expect opportunities just to fall into your lap, though. Let me know if I can help. Appreciate that to heaven and high above, curious son. Hey, by the way, you mentioned some place you wanted to take me last time. Think you can elaborate? Oh, oh snap, curious son. That whole thing just slipped my mind. You bet I'll elaborate. Elaborate? Did I say elaborate? It's the hippest, swankiest, rough and tumless joint in this side of the sea of Japan. And yours truly just so happens to have a buddy bringing home the bacon over there. You're saying he works there, right? Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Skippy. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you what it's called. Purgatory. Kind of scary sounding, huh? Dang, Skippy, what the fuck is wrong with Mac? Did you just say purgatory? Man, this is old news. I've been there for like fucking two games in a row. Yes. Well, I guess this makes it a third. Were we there in... Well, Majin Masaka doesn't count as a separate game. It's just like a DLC. It's not even a DLC because it's not downloadable. downloadable. It comes with the game. I just kind of made a separate Let's Play of it. I thought it would be better in case someone doesn't I even thought of like um that I should have actually do the Majin Saga let's play first before Kiwami 2 because that would make sense plot wise but who cares look I know the name kind of gives you the heebie jeebies but don't doubt good old Mac I haven't breath breed of Sweeter of sip of air than when I first stepped foot in this place. Anyway, I get the feeling my perfect shot just around the corner. And by around the corner, I of course mean through some weird door in a bathroom stall. Well, Kiryu son, gotta run. I'll tell my purgatory pal your comments and stop by if you can muster up the courage. I wonder if he shows up in purgatory. Wait, Mac. He's something. Or rather, I guess I could swing by purgatory when I have the time. I don't have the time. I'm a busy man. Busy with, uh, busyness. Oh my god, fucking more side quests? Is Mac a side quest? I don't think so. He does not appear as a side quest. I'm assuming he's not. Out of my fucking way. You know what I've been thinking? In, uh, two episodes ago, when we fought Majima, after he took off his suit, right? He had his knife like in behind, behind his pants, and what I thought was kind of interesting is that I was actually like thinking like, how the fuck does Majima carries his knife around usually, right? Like in Majima Saga, whenever you get into a fight, he just pulls it out from behind his jacket, and I figured it out. So you know how in he was wearing leather pants first of all, his knife, like the the cover of the knife, is made of wood. So, you know, leather on wood doesn't exactly slip around or anything like that. And on on your pants, on everybody's pants, you know, you have this little, like, strap to support the belt. What if he puts it... What if he puts his knife in between his pants and that strap on the back of his pants? That would hold it together, right? But then also that would mean that the... 
like the holster for the knife, I don't know what the fuck it's called, I would have to hold the knife in place very well because for the knife not to just fall out. They said the Reaper tore Koyami would be lurking in a place where there weren't any people around. This is the most deserted area in Kamurocha, but I don't see anybody wearing a mask. What do you mean if this place is deserted? There's a like fuck ton of people walking around. Don't move. Feel a finger up your ass? If you ever come looking for me again, I'll kill you. If you know it's good for you, you'll stop poking around in other people's business. Damn, I'm very intimidated. Was that the Reaper Tokoyami? I don't know. Was it? Maybe you can identify him by asking people to put a finger up your ass. Hey, did you see a suspicious looking man in a mask? I got a feeling this is him. Isn't it? That's, that's him. I told you to mind your own business. Well, you were the one who threatened me just now. Ignore my warning, will you? Then it's time for you to pay the price. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, you don't look very threatening. I could be... I could be on purpose so this motherfucker can fuck me up. Oh, well, he certainly is knocking me down a lot. Is that canceling my fucking move and shit? I hate it. Motherfucker's crazy. What the hell he just did? He fell over in a fight. Take his fucking move that cancels mine. He is kind of tough. Oh, I've actually hit a boss fight in, in Judgment that actually kicked my ass. It's a boss, like you have to fight two bosses at the same time and one of them is holding a sword. And that's the main issue I have with that boss fight. I just couldn't for the love of me. And you fight them in like a very small office. And not only that, but the fight begins with a bunch of fucking other people around. I wish this would finish them off just like it did in Kiwami too. Fucked him up. He was the last on the list, but I don't know if I, if by finishing him off, I wouldn't just get another person on the list. Don't you usually wear a mask? I used to wear one when I was in the Yakuza, but I don't anymore. Why not? You got vaccinated or something? I thought you wanted to hide your identity. Oh my god. Hold on. Alright. <clears throat> I hope I don't fucking end up with an hour long episode again. I thought you wanted to blah blah blah. A masked imposter showed up pretending to be me. An imposter? He ruined my reputation and got me kicked out of my family. Besides, wearing a mask around Kamurocha just makes you stick out like a sore thumb. I'll give you that. There's a guy in Judgment who wears a fucking mask and honestly that mask part kinda stupid in my opinion. These days, the best way to hide your identity is to wear a suit. In this city, a suit is a mask of its own. She got a point there. Unless you're wearing a suit like fucking Kiryu, who has no fucking taste in fashion. Look at this garbage. I still fucking hate his outfit. As much as I love fucking Kiryu, I hate his fucking outfit. It's fucking terrible. You got a point there. Are you with the HLA? I mean, it wouldn't be so shitty if he fucking buttoned it up and fucking put the collar back together. What the fuck is this shit with the shirt? Or if he, I don't know, had pants a different color? What's with this old gray? Is that his fucking idea of hip and cool, all gray? 
Yeah, I am. I'll go with you, but I'm not talking. He looked better than when he just had a fucking black and white shirt underneath. And Yakuza Zero. The other suit in Zero, the white one with the orange shirt, that looked even worse. And now you're probably not the kind of guy to talk, but I got a wrong idea about the HLA. What? The HLA is an organization that helps the Yakuza, they're not your enemy. They aren't going to force you to confess to anything. Once you meet them, you just might f form a different opinion of them. You might even fall in love. Who knows? Maybe they'll find you a girlfriend. Great work, Kiri-san. I'll take it from here. ibuki is waiting for you at the headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Thanks, mate. Appreciate the hustle. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. Whatever the fuck. Shut up. I understand. If you request, there's probably more. Obviously. Uh, course and Panther? Sounds intimidating, I gotta say. Sounds like a... Sounds like a sexual predator. The Panther, really? Oh my god, quests up my ass. What the fuck is all this shit? How is with this episode? 20 minutes, alright, so... What I wanna do... I'm always getting confused which fucking way I'm going. When I'm exiting HLA, because I keep thinking that the, the exit is on the other side of the building. That it actually is. There's a fortune teller lady, don't give a fuck. Uh, well, there is nobody dancing on a pole, I'm assuming that... That this isn't happening anymore? Was it this one? Might have been a bit fur further away. No, pretty sure that was the Paul. I guess I do have that move unlocked. I'm not. I'm not sure how the fuck to check that. I just assume I do. What's going on? This is the end of the line. Single file, please. What you just fucking said? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The problem lies in your former life. The same is true of your father. He complains of the pain in his legs, does he not? <gasps> yes, he said something recently about it being hard to walk. A fortune teller. Uh -huh. Wow. Do you want me to read your fortune? If so, please get in line. Everybody must wait their turn after all. There was a fortune teller side quest in Kiwami too. And in judgment, you can date a fortune teller. I can just say she's way cuter than this one. No, I don't believe in this bullshit. Wait, your face, its features are fascinating. Come here for a moment. How about I give you a special reading? Oh, fuck yeah. For free? Sure, I'll give it a try. Ah, wise decisions. Sometimes you must make quick decisions because you never know when you're, you'll have the same chance again. I'm sorry, but I have to stop here. I'll finish the rest of your readings after I read his fortune. What? Well, you better, bitch. Well, what's my fortune? Now could I have your name? Just write it on a piece of paper. Kazuma. Kiryu. Uh-huh, this is the name of a hero. You have the wisdom and resource. Says to be a great victor, but your name foretells a temperature... Temps... Uh, temps... <laughs> future. Oh. What the fuck was that last one? I can't read a man like you just... From your name, I need your... Me and palm readings. I should probably look into your past life too. I usually charge 150,000 yen for this, but for an interesting man like you, it's only gonna be 120,000. Fuck yeah! Every, f all the money in the world can't buy you this bullshit she's about to say. Well, sure. I've been scammed before, I know how this works. I give you money, I get nothing in return, thank you. Alright, thank you. Now for your fortune. Mm. Let's see. You're very unfortunate. Now leave. First, let's start with your palm. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. I see it now. You're a virgin. You are a hero, but as a hero, you must never forget there are many people supporting you. I got it. I also see, you are being fooled by someone you trust. What? But it's better to continue being fooled. 
You'll be happier that way. You must not let suspicion take over your heart. Well then, come back whenever you feel lost. I'll shine light on the path to your future. Are we done with the side quest? Or do I have to keep coming back to this stupid fortune teller? I can't be fucking serious. I have to keep coming back. This is the dumbest fucking thing in this entire game. Talk like that and of course you'll be unlucky. You have straightened out that you're on whatever. Be cheating on me too. Why am I the only one getting yelled at? It's not fair. You again? Your fortune won't have changed so much sooner your blast reading. Oh, okay. Also, I love her animation turning on a table. Um, excuse me. Do you have your fortune read by that fortune teller? Yes, I did. What about it? You're jealous? That's right. I overheard some people near the arcade of Nakamichi Street complaining about getting cheated out of their money by that fortune teller. Is that so? <laughs> Who would have thought? I don't know all the details, but they said something about her charging a lot of money and then just spouting off some generic babble. They're probably still there. Why don't you try going to the arcade on Nakamichi Street and talking to them yourself? Uh, I'll try. More people swindled by the fortune teller. I better get the video arcade. What about this girl? She looks kind of suspicious. Well, she's selling herself and I don't know how much for. Gotta get that info. Arcade on Nakamichi Street. I guess those are the, the ones? What's up with the fortune? There's no way it's right. My friend said she was good too. What's this about a fortune teller? It's outrageous. I should go give her a piece of my mind. She said she'd give me a special reading, then trick me out of 150,000 yen. I can't believe I paid 30,000 yen for that. Do you know what I could buy with 30,000 yen? I'm going to get my money back. We mustn't get the same fortune teller. I can't read properly, fuck. I never went to school, guys. I never learned how to read. You know what's funny? I actually found my, like, uh, documents of me passing elementary. And it said, reading, like, 7 out of 9. And then writing was, like, 2 out of 9. <laughs> and then understanding was 4 out of 9. So if I ever get stuck in this game and I can't read dialogue correctly... Then now you know why. I'm a natural born fucking idiot. What? Did she get you too? Really ought to be all... Go complain to her together. I won't rest until I tell her what I think of her. Sounds good. You go do that. I'll wait here. Let us know if you see her again. I'm going to slap her silly. Can I help you beat up an old woman? I would love that. Look, guys. That's not it. Alright, never mind then. Is it, is it this guy? Oh, there she is. Sticking her ass out. Hmm? I love Kiryu pulling out his phone to start recording people without their fucking consent or anything. Here, I'll start recording you. I wish these people in this cutscene would not have such disgusting looking hair. <sighs> have it slightly better looking. Jesus Christ, quick time events. Ah, oh, this sucks. Um, I don't know. The fleet feet? The stance, right? I don't know about her stance. I did it. I think I did it. Fuck this fucking stupid piece of fucking goddamn trash minigame. I fucking hate it woman handing out tissue papers and everyone's like oh my god I got a tissue paper how could this happen six years of my brother's life have been stolen away because of false charges I'm asking you for oh my god how boring it can't be her read the truth hey oh curious son what are you doing standing around here dumbass 
Hey, who's that? What, she, what the fuck she's standing out? I think they're... Hey, you over there. What's up, ugly? I know it is you. You're the journalist. Uh, um... Look what happened to my brother, thanks to you. What happened? Tell us all about it. I never intended for that to, uh... Journalists only care about themselves. Do you have any idea what horrible things happen to people you write about? He doesn't fucking care. It's his fucking job to cover the fucking news. Fuck you. What he covered? That your brother murdered someone he went to prison? This is his fault now? Fuck you. I, uh, my brother didn't kill anybody. Sure. Sure he didn't. Absolutely. Sounds like you two have quite the past. Yeah. What happened, exactly? Tell me in the details. Maybe we should talk someplace else. Sure. Just not for too long, alright? I ain't got the time. Six years ago, there was a murderer here at Cafe Alps. Here? They suspect a man named... Yuchi Akechi-san. Wasn't there a character called Akechi? No, that was a Persona 5 character. That woman you just saw... It's his sister, Nozomi Akechi. Yuichi Akechi. What a shitty name. I investigated the story and wrote an article Im implicating Yuichi san as the murderer. And this was the article that woman was talking about. How long is this? 31. Wait. That's right. Yuichi has constant. Constant. Fuck. Denied any involvement in the crime scene, his arrest. To be honest, even though I wrote the article, I wasn't completely convinced he'd done the deed. I didn't even want to publish it. I don't want to make him out to be the criminal before we had all the facts. Let me guess. It got published anyway. I was the only person in the department who ever considered Yuichi-san might be innocent. And I was only just getting my started as a journalist, so I had to go along with that, with what my department wanted to do. Okay. I dug much too far into Yuichi san's life for my investigation. I inve interviewed his relatives, even people in his neighborhood. Because of my reporting, people started labeling the Akechi family as the murderer family. They were forced to move. Poor Nazumi san got bullied at school, too, by me. That kind of stuff happens. Part of life. Who cares? Ever since Yuichi san was declared gu guilty, I can't stop thinking about him. Beautiful lips. I should have written that article. Were the charges against him false? False? You mean there's a chance Yuichi didn't do it? What makes you think that? I actually used to have a part-time job here a long time ago. Is that so? I worked with Yuichi son. We talked all the time and I got to know him pretty well. I just don't think he's a murderer. Well, maybe that's the thing. Maybe he was pretending to be nice. Maybe you would be murdered if you didn't quit the job. After that story got published, I swore I'd never repeat the same mistake. I've become an honest j journalist who only reports the truth. Are you really just gonna let this go then? What? You still have doubts about the case, right? Yeah. And shouldn't you be trying to discover the truth? You think? You know what? You're right. I think I gave up after the article came out. But you're absolutely right. I think I'll look into it one more time. Mm. How should I go about it, though? I mean, it's been six years since the murder happened. I guess you gotta start by talking to everyone involved in the case. Sure, but... But what? Hello. Could you help me, Kyrgyz son? Hmm. If I don't find out the truth, I'll regret writing that article for the rest of my life. You want me to look into that old murder with you? Alright. This quest fucking sucks, by the way. Like all of them. All right, I'll do it. Thanks. Deep shit. Just tell me about the crime in the rest of the days ago. All right, we have the rundown. There's, that's how we were stationed, exactly. I was cleaning out my ass in the back room. Kinoshita.
その途中、オッカールームの前を通りかかったとき、ユーチさんはわずかにドアが開いていることに気づきました。パウダルルーム、オフィス。Alright, I see how it is. Kind of interesting to have the layout of the building, even though you never get to go in the back. So, in the locker room, 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 What did he say about Kinoshida at the beginning that I didn't listen to? Okota Yuichi san wa locker room no naka ni hai ri. Penchou no Oda san ni tsukami kakari mashita. Sono koro, waiter no Kinoshita san wa, kakseki no hou de zutto seisou san yo o tsuzuke te itan desu ga. Who's a sai? Yuichi san ga naka naka modotte konai koto o fushin ni omotte, yosu o mi ni iki mashita. Suruto Kinoshita san wa, 店の裏口から出ていく雄一さんの姿を見かけました直後木下さんはロッカールームのドアが開いていることに気づき中を覗いてみたところそこには頭から血を流して死んでいる店長の小田さんの姿が見かけました警察の調べによると死因は頭部打撲による脳挫傷凶器は It sounds like you did it. Case closed. You can trust me on that. Source of this? Just trust me. That's the gist of it. I see. You really do know a lot about this case. From what you say, Yuichi motive seems pretty clear. Sounds obvious he killed the guy his girlfriend was cheating on him with. I'm sure that's what police thought too. And when they discovered more evidence later, they decided to arrest Yuichi san. They found more evidence? No, I should give you this. What is this? The notebook I used to collect information about the case. Please take a look at it. You might see something I missed. I got a notebook, access, notebook. Cool, select. Wait, what? Or one does something? Select Wazaka's notebook to look at information on people related to the case. If you get stuck, take another look. Got it. Got this shit by the ass, as I like to often say. That's my catchphrase. Got this shit by the ass, that's my fucking catchphrase. Ooh, I got a vi- I mean a water pu- I do have a water purifier. Well, at least I fucking have a water pur- I didn't get scammed in that case. They didn't install it because there's nothing to install yet because I'm carrying it in my back pocket. Kill you, kill you, kill you. You're such a goofball. Dare I say a fucking moron? Alright, lead detective. This this man. Detective for. Oh, nice model and everything. He even has a hat. Detective from Police Investigation Division 1. Lead murder. Okay, she has arrest and Wait, what? Dislikes coffee. That's a crucial hint. Suspect arrested. A catchy. Waiter was in a relationship with the bitch. Past locker room or closing store. To witness his girlfriend cheating beat. Order to death with an ashtray. Witnessed fleeing scene by. On finger found on a murder weapon. There you go, he did it. Consist of murder now serving sentence. His girlfriend. Sister, never mind. Att attending famous private. School for girls, plastic school college and work post graduation, Belize brother is innocent, disturbed, blah 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 blah. Oh, the manager of the cafe, discovered by a catch to be having an affair with the witness, beaten to death. Blunt face trauma, blah blah blah. Lover. Nice legs. Can't say the same about the face. Waitress at the cafe house, had a relationship with the suspect. Okay, what about this guy? Waiter at the cafe out was cleaning with a catchy at the time of murder, discovered all his body after witnessing a catchy fleeing the scene, then called the police. And these two unrelated people was closing the register at the time of murder. Unrelated. Not present on the day of murder. That why the fuck is he here? There we go, he did it. 
Case closed. I realize. Did you find out anything? Well, okay, I know who's involved. Shut up! Can I talk to this guy, maybe? Well, I can't. Ooh, sandwich. <laughs> Toast. Can I only take one? Why can't I eat two fucking things? This is stupid. Milk tea, that's how I like my tea. Even though I refer to it as Bavarian tea all my life. I thought it was, that's what it's called. Well, it seems like I can't talk to anybody here. I think that's the bitch who thinks her brother's innocent. Foolishly, I might add, he's totally a criminal. Weren't you the guy who was with the reporter? What do you want? He told me about the case. I'm helping him look for information and try to prove your brother's innocent, huh? What are you talking about? He feels responsible, so we're looking for a way to help your brother. Oh, really? Well, you're too late. My brother's been in prison for six years. Do you think you can just waltz up to me and pretend to care now to see me alone? Alright, fuck you then. The bitch is back, though. See, the guy with a cigarette is actually part of this animation, so you can blame me for trying to look at him first. Alright, at least we remember which one's not the right one. So it must have been not about the stands. Which makes sense, because this didn't focus on her stands, it focused on her being fast. I hate this fucking mechanic. <laughs> Look at these the fucking square fingers. They look even worse than Kiwami's. Look at that guy for the phone freaking out because he got a fucking tissue. Alright, this is not the right one. Probably not about the ninja village. Secret to dealing with a crowd. That makes more sense. Doesn't change that these, these are fucking shit. Forty-two minutes. Fuck. Talking at the cafe it took a long time. What the fuck kind of move was that? Slapped him on the wrist. Another revelation. I saw a charismatic woman passing out tissues, and well, that's all I'll say. This was ten times more amazing than. Any CG effect they've seen, though, definitely worth a look. Go and see her for yourself if you're up in Kamurocho. <laughs> Handing out tissue papers. Or... I honestly can't even... I've never seen anything like that where I live. People, like a marketing strategy to be handing out tissue papers with... Packages with, like, logos of whatever you're advertising. Alright, whatever. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.